never gonna ring. Where are we gonna sit? The benches are all full. Oh, look over there. There's one. Let's grab it. Well, I wonder what kind of sandwich I have today. Probably meatloaf. How do you know? Because that's what we had for dinner last night. Guess what mine is, fellas? Baloney. Oh, how'd you guys know? How long you been eating lunch with Tommy and me, Dave? I don't know. About a year, I guess. Well, every day for a year now, you've had a bologna sandwich in your lunch. That's how we know. Mine's cheese. I'll trade you my bologna for your cheese. Are you crazy or something? Oh, I thought so. Meatloaf. Here, Dave, I'll trade you. Oh, boy. Jimmy. Wait a minute. What? Every day for a year, you've had a banana in your lunch, too. Yeah, I got one today. So what? Well, a meatloaf sandwich is worth more than a bologna sandwich. You got to throw in the banana, too. The banana, too? Well, well, all right. What are you guys going to do tonight? I'm going to take my sister to a Halloween party. That's a heck of a way to spend Halloween. Parties, girls, I sure do feel sorry for you. You think that's bad? I gotta stay home and babysit while my folks go to a party. Oh, not you too. Yeah. Well, I'm not gonna spend my Halloween sitting around with babies or playing games with girls, neither. What are you gonna do? Well, you know that old Finch place? You mean the one that everybody says is Haunted? That's the place. And I'm going out there tonight. Tonight? You're crazy. I wouldn't go to that old place for a million dollars. Well, I'm not afraid. I'm going. What about the witch? Oh, she's no witch. She's just a crazy old woman. My dad said so. Well, you can say what you want, but I say she's a witch. Okay, prove it. Well, she looks like a witch. Always dressed in black, and with that long, scraggly hair, and a big nose, and all hunched over, like, like in storybook. Oh, I'm not afraid of her, even if she is a witch. Besides, my dad says there isn't any such thing as a witch. Well, I don't think you should go alone. Well, I wasn't gonna until you guys chickened out. I ain't chicken. Me neither. All right, then. How about you guys going home with me after school? We can take the long way home. What long way? Out Elm Street. Past the old Finch place. Lucifer! Lucifer! Are you up there in that tree? Lucifer! Answer me! Lucifer, you come down here right now. Right now, do you hear me? than one way to get you down out of that tree. Come on, you guys, quit hanging back. I'm not. I've got to walk in my shoe. Well, then take it out. Come on, how long is it going to take you? I'm done. All right, let's go. Mark. What now? I think I got a rock on my shoe, too. Well, I don't, so come on. Gosh, look at that. I wonder if there's any bats in there. I wonder if the old witch is in there. Let's go in and find out. 
Not me. I'm staying right here. Yeah, me too. You guys are chicken. Let's go. get the sweet thing down. Now you're getting down for me, won't you? <laughs> well, well, if that's all you want, I guess I can do that for you. Oh, bless you, dearie. Bless you. So you won't come down, e Lucifer. <laughs> I think you will now. I... Now. You're talking to look very friendly, lady. Why, Lucifer wouldn't hurt a fly. Yeah, but I'm not a fly. tumbling down that smack on the ground. Oh, yes. I do remember falling. 
after your mean old cat tried to scratch me. I don't know what kind of spell you put on me, but it's time for me to go home, and you'd better let me go. All in good time, boy. First, you must have a reward for helping an old lady. I don't want any reward. Besides, I didn't get your old cat down out of the tree anyway. Ah, but you did. You see, when you fell out of the tree, old Lucifer laughed so hard, he came down all by himself. I just want to go home, lady. What's your hurry, boy? You're not afraid of me, are you? I'm not afraid of you. Good. Then we'll get right down to business. Come here, boy. But you said you weren't afraid of me. I'm not. Now, hold out your hand. Come on, hold it out. This little boy has done a good deed for this old lady who was in need. Oh, magic power, both far and near. Let this boy's reward now appear. Bum, bum, clarinum. Oh! Now listen, this is a magic ring. Magic? Yes. Within that ring is a secret compartment. And within that compartment is a magic seed. If you plant this seed beneath the wishbone of a Thanksgiving turkey in the dark of the moon, a magic tree will grow. And when the tree is full grown, it will grant you three wishes. But I don't understand all this. Don't try to understand. Just follow instructions. Now listen. When the tree is full grown, Stand before it. Place this ring on your finger, turn it around three times, and say the magic words. What magic words? Rimbum, Karinum, O. Oh. Whatever you wish for it will come true. Gosh. But remember, you only have three wishes. So think. Very carefully before you wish. Yes, ma'am. Now you may go. Can I ask you something? Of course. Why have you given me such a fine reward? I thought all witches were mean and wicked. There are mean and wicked witches. But there are good and kind witches also. Oh. Well, can I ask you something else? Of course. How come all this has so changed since I fell out of the tree? It hasn't changed at all. It's the same as it's always been. You see only what you want to see. Now, you and your friends came here expecting to see a spooky, ugly old house. So that's what you saw. If you think ugly, you see ugly. If you think beautiful, you see beautiful things. Gee, does that work with people too? Indeed it does. Do you think beautiful things about your mother? And is she beautiful? Gee, yes. She's real pretty. Always remember that. And you will have the most powerful magic of all working for you. But now I must go and feed Lucifer. And it's time for you to go home. So goodbye, boy. Goodbye. Goodbye, ma'am. Gee, a real witch. I must be dreaming. I get the wishbone. Well, you'll take what I give you. Dad! Henry, give him the wishbone. That's all he's talked about since I began to cook the turkey. Okay, one wishbone coming up for Mark. And what would you like? May I have the drumstick?
Ichabod, wake up. Everybody's asleep now, and we've got work to do. Come on, Ichabod, wake up. I've got to get this right. Let me see now. I plant the seed out of the ring with the wishbone. And then I say the magic words, and it ought to work. I've got the magic ring, the wishbone, Well, here goes. There's nothing in the paper about it. I asked if you wanted more coffee. Oh, yes. What is it that there is nothing in the paper about? Why, that clap of thunder and flash of lightning last night? There's nothing in the weather report about a thunderstorm. Matter of fact, it says nothing but clear weather. Well, I didn't hear any thunder. Well, I sure did. Woke me up out of a sound sleep, just in time to see a terrific flash of lightning. Good morning, Mark. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. No time for breakfast now. Got to meet the guys at the park. Oh, that boy. Only time he isn't eating is at regular meal time. Well, guess I'll get out the old lawnmower and trim up the lawn. Well, you better mow it twice. It sure needs it. Yes, dear. Hello? Oh, hi, Betty. Just a minute. Okay. Come on, Ichabod. 
I'll race you to the first blade of grass. and kept talking and talking and talking and I do have to get home in time for dinner. Oh, I thought I'd fix the casserole. It's quick and easy and the children like it. What? The noise? Oh, it's just Henry. He's mowing the back lawn. time. Yes, they enjoyed it. Uh-huh. Did you? Oh, good. Oh, yes, I know. As a matter of fact, I thought I would bring it up at the next meeting. Such a beautiful tree. Never mind that. Where did it come from? Why didn't you plant it, Henry? No, I didn't plant it, Henry. 
Do you think if I'd have planted a tree, I'd have run into it? It isn't necessary to shout just because you forgot where you planted a tree. I did not forget where I planted it. Then why did you run into it? Because I didn't know it was there. You see, you did forget. Such a lovely tree. If you're going to cut it down, Henry, you should use the axe, not the power mower. Good grief. I don't think you should cut it down. Helen, just go back into the house and do whatever it was and leave me alone, please. I was going anyway. I was talking to Betty. I better call her back. And do be careful. Don't run into any more trees with the power mower. Yes, dear. Let's see now, where did that come from? Oh well. I'll soon take care of that. Yahoo! <laughs> Okay, little tree. Looks like you're one of the family. Hurry and finish dressing, dear. The stores will be crowded tonight and we haven't much time. I'm almost finished, Mother. Are you ready, Henry? By the way, what are you planning on buying tonight? That's a secret between Diane and me. Oh, well, I've got a little shopping of my own to do, so I thought I'd drop you two off oh, and pick you up a little later. Oh, buying, dear? Well, there's the matter of the Christmas tree. Do you mean to say that you haven't bought the Christmas tree yet, Henry? You haven't seen one around, have you? But I asked you to buy one over a week ago. That would have been way too soon. It had been all dried out by Christmas. So I thought I'd wait until tonight and buy a nice fresh one. But Henry, it's Christmas Eve. They'll be all sold out. Just leave it to me. Coming with us? No thanks, Dad. I got some presents to get around. Okay, you can stay. Well, I'm finally ready. Let's go.
me. How do I know if it's full grown? Oh, I'm full grown, all right. Who said that? Why, I did. You asked a question of me, didn't you? Trees can't talk. Well, don't be silly. If trees can't talk, then how can I answer you? Of course I can talk. Now, what else do you want to know? But, but, but... Oh, come, come, boy, don't stammer. Speak up. You are a magic Christmas tree. Of course I am. That's what you planted, wasn't it? But you look kind of scrawny. Well, I've been through a lot lately, and, uh, well, enough of this. Now, let's get down to business. What do you mean? Have you got the magic ring? Yes, right here on my hand. Good. Now, turn it around three times on your finger and say the magic words. Rimbum, carrying them, pull. It's gone! The magic Christmas tree, it's gone! Come in, come in. Don't just stand there with your mouth hanging open. We've got work to do. How'd you get in here? Come, come, boy. Don't ask such silly questions. Turn the ring again and say the magic words. I do look rather handsome, don't I, boy? You're beautiful. Thank you very much. Now, what can I do for you? What do you mean? Well, you have three wishes coming to you. Just tell me what they are, say the magic words, turn the ring, and I shall grant them for you. Can you really grant any wish I want? Oh, don't be silly. Of course I can. Boy. You're really powerful, aren't you? I don't wish to brag. Boy, I sure would like to be powerful like you. Just for an hour. Is that your wish? An hour of power? An hour of power. An hour of power. Hey, that's not bad. An hour of power. Oh, very well. So be it. Oh, magic spirit. Lend me your power to this boy for just an hour. Let magic flow where'er he points to do his bidding whom he anoints. All right, boy, turn the ring and say the magic words. Rimbum, carry noom, pull. It didn't work. Nonsense. Of course it worked. Try it and see. Just point your finger at something and watch. Remember, you have this power for one hour. I'll remember. I'm going out and have some fun. Oh, I remember. It's dark outside. Well, use your magic power. But how do I do that? Just point your finger. OK. Here it goes. That's what you wanted, wasn't it? And now go out and have yourself some fun. Gee, all that magic has made me kind of tired. Hmm. 
I think I'll take a little...
funny little tree. What are you doing now, Henry? The kids have got to have a Christmas tree. There's only one thing left to do. Let's take another crack at that scrawny little tree out in the backyard. Be careful with the axe, dear. Our Christmas tree's been stolen. Oh, Henry, what's the matter now? Our tree! It's gone! Well, it must be around somewhere. It couldn't just walk off. Well, it isn't here now. Well, what did you do with it, dear? It's been stolen, and I'm gonna call the police. But how do you report a missing tree? that Christmas tree with the lawnmower. I tried to saw it down. I even tried to chop it down with an ax, and you've got it standing here decorated. What's the matter, Dad? Don't you like it? Well, sure I like it. It's beautiful. It's magnificent. Why, Henry, what a wonderful surprise. And you were trying to make me think that tree was stolen. Mark and I, we carried it off rather well, didn't we, son? With a tree like that, this is going to be the happiest Christmas we've ever had. There's something mighty strange about that tree. I suppose you've come back to ask for your second wish. Yes, but I don't know what to ask for. Don't know what to wish for? Well, bless my branches and limbs. Here's a fine thing. You can have anything you want, and you don't know what to wish for. Oh, I'll think of something. Well, you'd better hurry up. It's almost time for Santa Claus to make his visit. Got it. Oh, so you thought of something at last, huh? I was about to go back to sleep again. Well, what is it to be this time? I want Santa Claus for my very own this Christmas. I say, isn't that a bit selfish? Well, I mean, after all, Christmas is for sharing, isn't it? I don't care. That's my wish and that's what I want. All to myself. Oh, very well. So be it. Now, let's see now. Have a... <sighs> oh, magic's powers within my call. Oh, weave a spell and let it fall upon Saint Nick, that jolly old elf, so he cannot move an inch by himself. Once he enters, he must remain until this boy his release ordains. Well, all right, turn the ring and say the magic words. I still think you're making a very big mistake, young fellow. Selfishness never gets a boy anywhere. Rimbum, carrying Pow! It is Santa Claus. Where am I? You're at my house, Santa. What's this all about? The last thing I remember, I was climbing into my sleigh. It was my magic Christmas tree. It's a beautiful tree. Uh-huh. Would you like to meet it? Yes. Yes, indeed. Magic Christmas tree, I'd like you to meet Santa Claus. Oh, it's a pleasure, Mr. Claus. It talks. Oh, it's really nothing, Mr. Claus. Mr. Tree. 
Can you tell me what is going on here? I'm afraid that you're our prisoner for tonight, Mr. Claus. I don't understand. You're my for tonight, Santa Claus. Of course. I belong to every little boy and girl on Christmas Eve. Here's alone uh, this Christmas Eve. But that's impossible. I've got work to do tonight. But I'm afraid you will find it impossible to leave this room until morning. I can't move. What have you done to me? But don't be alarmed, sir. You will not be harmed. It, it's only a magic spell. The poor children. The poor, poor children. They'll all wake up in the morning and find no presents. Oh, you must turn me loose. You must. I'll let you go, Santa, when you give me everything I ask for. This is wrong. Bicycle, an old chemistry set, some roller skates. I'd like to send a skateboard. Mr. Tree, are you awake? Yes, Santa Claus, I'm awake. How much longer do I have to stay here? The spell cannot be broken until the lad returns. I pity the boy. His selfishness has gotten the best of him. The strange part of it is that try as I would, I couldn't refuse him a thing. Well, naturally. You're under my magic spell, Mr. Claus. Where is the lad now? to give you so many gifts. I'll give them all back. It's too late. You're my little boy now. No, I'm not your little boy. You are my little boy. Oh, put me down, put me down. You're going to stay here in the forest with me. You can be as selfish and greedy as you want. How about starting off with a couple of cakes? I want to go home. Perhaps you'd like to have that mountain of toys to play with. I don't want them. I just want to go home. You seemed to want them pretty badly last night. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be greedy. Changed your mind, eh? Let me go home, please let me go home. I promise never to be greedy again. Not so fast. I must be sure that you mean what you say. I have something to show you. 
Look into the water and see what your greed has done. The nation stands aghast today from coast to coast as speculation on the mysterious disappearance of Santa Claus on Christmas Eve leaps from state capital to state capital. Sacramento has issued a statement that all units of the state guard have been placed on the alert. The state is on the failure of Santa Claus to make his traditional call upon the children of the world. At the United Nations, reports were being received from all over the world on the progress of the search for the missing Santa. In New York, the entire police department has given up their Christmas holiday to join the search and have been joined by the fire department with full equipment. The Pentagon has just announced that the Air Force units have been dispatched along the route generally believed to be regularly followed by Santa Claus. The international police have called in all reserve operatives for immediate assignment to the baffling case that has shocked the whole world. Where is Santa Claus? Has he been kidnapped? Has he had an accident? The world holds its breath and sadly waits to hear the answer. Meanwhile, the little children weep for their friend and pray for his safe return. Turning to the stock market reports, the Dow Jones averages... Please let me go home, Mr. Giant. I've done a terrible thing. Just let me go home. What's this? Tears? Can it be that your greed is melting away? Very well, then. Go! Oh, thank you, Mr. Giant. Well, I lost him, but I'll find another greedy child to be my slave. Maybe you. This is your last wish, you know. I know, I know. Please hurry. Very well. What is your wish? I wish... I wish it was last night again. Christmas Eve. And I wish I had never made the wish to have Santa all to myself. And I wish Santa could forgive me. Well, I'll see what I can do. You don't have to wish for me to forgive you, Mark. You see, I am the spirit of giving, the spirit of love. I am forgiving. You are wishing to release me from your spell. But you shall always have me in your heart. All right, boy, here goes. <sighs> Oh, magic spirits, we ask of you, this boy's wish we beg undo. Take us back too late last night and make all things come out right. Oh, quick, boy, turn the ring and say the magic words. Rimbum, Harry Noon. I guess this is the end of the line for us. What do you mean? You've had your three wishes. It's time for me to go. Go? Go where? Back to the land of magic. Goodbye, boy. Goodbye, magic Christmas tree. Oh, 
Careful, boy. Now, careful. I'm all right. Just a little dizzy, that's all. I remember now. I went up into that old tree to get your cat. That you did, boy. And when you fell out of the tree, you scared old Lucifer so badly, he came down all by himself. Well, at least he's down. I better be going now, ma'am. Oh, but you must have a reward for getting old Lucifer down out of the tree. Not a magic ring. Magic ring? Oh, no. I was thinking of a plate of cookies and a glass of cold milk. I would like some cookies and milk. I'll get them for you right away.